Guys, just got to the Oceanic Pier. I think we have something here. Looks like it's a baby sea trout or sea bass. Uh, I'm using lugworm today on my sabiki. Very slow day. Let's see here. Oh, small guy. Two spot, double up guys, two spots. That's cut bait right here. Yeah, we have it, we're on here. Ooh. Let's see what, we, see what it is. Oh, two sea trouts. <laughs> oh man, oh, that one's on too. Yeah, we're on. Let's see what it is. Uh, spot, spot on this one, double sea trout on the other one. Or sea bass, I keep on saying sea trout, I don't know why. Was he pulling? Yeah. Man, look at that, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Doc Demon putting in that work today. Wow, look at that, automatic. <laughs> uh, another double up. Oh, we got a grunt on the bottom one. Pig grunt. Nice, I didn't know grunts ran all the way down here. Nice grunt. Just caught a, a sea robin here. See this little, oh, just got off. The little wings, see the wings? I'll let him go. If he wants to settle down here. Oh, he got spikes. Those wings. Little guy. All right, I think I'm gonna try moving around more. Just catching the same fish is boring, especially small fish too. Oh, it's a spot. Oh, I got off. No. That's all right. Sun's coming down. Well, it's pretty much down now. All right, guys. I have to narrate from here because I forgot to turn on my audio, but I caught a spot. Lenny caught a shad. And this guy has something big on. I th we think it's a stingray or a shark, but at the end of the day, he, pr he lost it. Yeah, he's tugging. Uh, this older gentleman right here got a... A trout. Yeah, speckle. Speckled trout on a, I think it was a minnow lure. Uh, I think we, I got a shad right here. Sabiki was hitting, Sabiki Sunday. And they fight like tarpon too. They like jump on top of the water and like, like, you know, they fight with their whole body essentially. Uh, Lenny got a horseshoe crab right here. Yeah, he was using a, a crappie jig with a, I think a colt minnow attached to it. I pulled up my line. Look at this thing crawling. Creepy, creepy sea creatures. But yeah, like right here is I think around eight, and it was a high tide, on the, and. My, the minor period too as well and everyone was catching fish it looks like these little kids are helping him release the horseshoe crab look at these little fingers so creepy there he goes i think lenny gives him candy in return mason i met here as well he got a sea trout or sand trout so excuse me 
come on here or something. Is this a shad? Yeah, shad got off. There he goes. On again. I think this one is a LY because it has a little spot and much wider. Yes, LY. This guy got a chair now. Just chilling. Yeah, asked Lenny if he wanted LY as cut bait, but he didn't want it, so we just threw it back on here. Something again, probably shad. Yes, yeah, a shad. Oh no, it's a spot. Big old spot. Ended up keeping this guy. He, he is really big. I'll show you here. Watch I walk into the light. And I think something bit him too. Or you, someone used him as a live lining as a, when he was younger because he kind of recovered from it. You can see on his spine right here on the back. Someone tried to live line him probably. Yeah, there you go. All right, let's go ahead and look at the tides for the day we fished um, came here around 1 or 12 30 fished all the way to 12 a.m essentially so caught the low tide and the high tide and you'll see during the, um, the major periods and minor periods exactly when these tides are shown right here a lot of fish activity that's when the fish were biting let's go down look at the solar activity almost a full moon 99 coefficient three fish signs which is which means very high activity as you can see right here minor periods definitely um, did not get this this one because they came at one um, caught this one the ma major period right here as well as the minor period right here when the shad were hitting and as for the pressure t I think water pressure was stable I'm looking at my phone now because I screenshot it because it normally doesn't show after the day when I recheck re the on tides for fishing as for the winds it was east northeast um, pretty much the time when I came there and throughout the night actually you no, know, at 9 p.m. it switched to east winds all right guys if you want to fish here go ahead and put in oceanic fishing pier into your GPS as for parking there's multiple ways to go about it um, you can go and turn in right here go, you will have to drive onto the sidewalk a little bit park where their employees work for a second pay for the pass to get on the pier which is ten dollars at the time that I'm making a video right now and then ask the worker to get a, a parking pass and with that parking pass you can drive all the way over here park in the motel which I think they own as well and the pier is open I believe 6 a.m. till midnight on weekdays and 24 7 on uh, weekends of course at the time I'm making a video and then they probably always change it so make sure you check that when you go as for alternative parking right here is also ten dollar parking all day and also I know down the street right here the street parking is free if you can get the if you get a chance and I also did park right here as well which is three dollars three dollars an hour to park and you can always reload more on the on the app on your phone and yeah that's basically it all right guys thanks for watching stay tuned to the next video remember to smash that like button give us a comment and subscribe everything i use is under the description below so check that out as well Stop.